Here, I'm going to show you how to format a large amount of data so that it will print correctly. I'll show you what I've got. I have here companies and their stock prices and closing their closing prices and volumes by date. And I also have a graph. So I've got two per tab and I have two tabs. Now, what I want to do first is tell Excel exactly what I want printed. So, what you do is highlight everything that you want printed, including the charts. Now, to make sure that it will select all of the chart, you need to highlight everything around it. For instance, if I just went to this cell, it wouldn't correctly print the chart. I have to go all the way over. And I'm going to highlight this for the entire tab. As you see, everything is now highlighted. Then go to File, click the two down arrows if not everything is presented. Click Print Area, Set Print Area. Now you'll notice once I did that, this bar appeared on the outside. So it appeared everywhere that I had highlighted. Now what I want to do is I want to make it so that each company's data is printed on one separate page. So in order to do that I need to insert a page break. And the reason I need to do that is because go to file and then go to print preview and it will show you what it's going to print out like. And In print preview you see it's going to be both Citigroup and Walmart's data on one page with part of the chart cut off. So we don't want that. In order to insert a page break, scroll to where you want it and put the mouse or click the cell that is directly underneath where you want the page break. Go up to insert and select page break. You'll now see this thick line that appeared going across here. Now that means that both of these are going to be on separate pages. The other thing to note is that when I went to print preview, part of my chart was cut off. So what I'm going to do here in order to fix that is go to file, go to page setup, and you can see in the orientation there's a choice for portrait or for landscape. I'm going to put that on landscape and it's going to basically turn my sheet of paper on its side. So now go to file print preview and you can see this fits perfectly on a piece of paper. So Citigroup and then Walmart. Now I'm going to show you a couple other things you can do. Let's go back to the page setup. Page setup allows you to change a lot in regards to how you're going to print. You can make the orientation a portrait or a landscape and also there's this area called scaling. Now what that's going to do is allow you to shrink the data on a worksheet. So right now it's at 100% normal size, but I could decrease it to say 50% and then everything would display correctly on my worksheet on the computer, but when I print it out it'll be 50% of this size. Additionally, I could check the or click the fit to and then I can select I want it one page by one page tall, which basically means fit everything onto one page and the computer is going to determine the formatting that it needs to do to fit it on one page. I could make this if I wanted two pages by two pages or two pages wide by one page tall. It's up to you. But that that's how to do it so the computer will do everything for you. Now I'm going to put the scaling back up at 100 percent and go to the margins. On the margins tab you can change the size of the margins. And what this is going to do is allow you to put more stuff on one page. For instance, if I decrease the left margin from 0.75 to 0.25, it gives me more space on the left side to put stuff. Additionally, if I do that on the right side, it will give me more space to put information on the page as well, and the top and the bottom. So if you decrease the margins, 
it gives you more space to put stuff to put information on the page if you increase them it reduces the amount of space that you have you can also here adjust the size of your header and your footer for how much space you want that to take up it's a good idea to keep it less than the margin for the top and the bottom otherwise it's not going to fit on the page correctly now one thing to note here when I selected that city group and Walmart data is going to be printed on separate pages I want it to print in the middle so maybe that'll look a little better go to the bottom of the margin tab where it says center on page check horizontally and vertically and then you can see this test page where all the data is put in the center now I'm going to click print preview and you see everything is centered so back to page setup all I did to get to page setup from the print preview was click setup at the top now at the header and the footer here you can add your own header or your own footer you can make them custom by clicking the custom header or the custom footer I'm gonna leave that alone for now though and talk about the sheet tab the sheet tab allows you to select what area you want to print here and also the rows and the columns to repeat here I'm going to close this and talk about that later. For now, let's move on to Sheet 2. Now this has the exact same data, but I'm going to format it differently. I want to put the data for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac on one page. So what I'm going to do here is go to File, Page Setup, go to Page, the Page tab, and then I'm going to either adjust the size so I can change it myself to say 80% then I'm going to click print preview and it fits but if I wasn't sure what size to adjust it to I would go back to page setup let's put this back at 100% and click the fit to one page wide by one page tall print preview and it will fit it to one page for you now you'll notice if you go back to page setup 89% of normal size is all it needed to be to fit on one page. So when I checked that, it fit it to the correct zoom level. Now, on the sheet tab, I skipped this a second ago, but if you want to, for, let's go to the print titles, if you want to repeat certain rows on every single page, so if you have a lot of data printing and you want the top rows to repeat on every page so you know where you are, you go to rows to repeat at top and you type in the row you want to repeat or you click this little button and select the row you want to repeat now it's going to repeat the entire row no matter what's in the data so you can't just repeat one cell additionally if there's a column you want to repeat you just type in the column here or you click the little button and select the column now for instance click this button select column A now either hit enter or click the button again and column A is going to repeat at the left of every single page that you print off for this worksheet. Now, other things to note, here you can print the grid lines or black and white draft quality or the row and column headings. Now when you print the row and column headings here, what it's going to do is actually print A, B, C, D, these for Excel and the numbers on the left for example let's click print preview and zoom in you'll see now that all the cell headings and row headings are going to be printed I'm going to close out of this and that's how you can fit a large amount of data on one page or change the sizing of the data Additionally, don't forget about the page breaks. In case you wanted to fit this on more than one sheet, you could just put a page break right there. And that's about it for printing.